Okay, the purpose of this walk is just to try out some new toys, new selfie stick and some bits and bobs that I've picked up to try and uh, make a bit more of a steady camera. So what I'm going to do on this walk is just local, well maybe five, six miles, and I'm just going to have a look at some old pits and industry stuff right before. So down this path here, where we're going now, this used to be an old wagon wave that used to go from the coal depot. And I used to go down to West Wyland Colliery. And what I've done is I've pinpointed the pit, the pit shafts. And uh, we're going to try and locate those pit shafts. So I've used an old map and then superimposed it onto a modern day map to try and pinpoint exactly where they are. And if I remember rightfully on the maps, this was the site of an old reservoir. Selfie sticks winning. This device is a little bit uh, difficult to use. I see a lot of the. Uh, I'll be eaten alive by midges here, like. <laughs> See some of the old brickwork. I think I'll switch to the selfie stick. It seems to be a lot uh, easier to use than this device. This one just needs some practice, I think. Need practice with it. Right, we'll continue on the wagon way a bit. Now when I was looking through the old maps, the first map I looked at had this as the site of an old pit, but then I couldn't find the map what said it was, so I don't think it is. Um, yeah, this device I'm using now is not very good at all. Um, I haven't got it balanced properly. down there as well. That's all blocked off there. And don't really have the backlight for this one. Wow, it's a lot of midges. I'm not getting the the light I need for that. should be on automatic, but it's not worth picking up. need a torch. <laughs> Personally, I think that this isn't. But, who knows. I'm going to go to the site where the maps, where most of the maps say that is the actual pit shaft. I think that this is just like a bridgeway of some sort or another structure. And on the top, I think the wagon way actually went and the footpath slightly off the wagon way. But we'll see. I'll have to pour over the old maps again a bit more. Let's go to the site where the pit really is. I've switched to the... Oh, now i got the light. I'm not stupid. Now I've got too much light. Stupid camera thing. I switched to the selfie stick. Uh, I just... Before I went to the area where the pit's supposed to be. The pit shaft, that is. Uh, I saw this clearing. I wanted to check it out. And this bit of structure left over from the colliery. I'm not sure if you can see it now because of this stupid flash things come up now. When I wanted it, it wouldn't come on. <laughs> now I don't want it, it has. 
Let's see when it switches off. Okay, let's go and check out where the pit shaft should be. It's a bit overgrown, so I'm not sure if I'll get to it. Now here is the site of the pit shaft for West Wylam Colliery. Now two shafts. Uh, we're going to go and see the other one, which was called James Pit, which is Old Devon Wylam Colliery. Uh, West Wylam Colliery, I should say. Not Wylam, West Wylam. Uh, it's a bit difficult to get to here, like it's very a lot of trees and bushes and hawthorn hedges slipped a few times stung myself a few times just to get to this bit which is probably just as well you don't want people jumping up and down on that earth you don't know how secure it is underneath right we'll go and have a look at the colliery site itself before we look for James Pitt. Right, those bushes behind me is the site of the pit shaft. So I should have a photograph somewhere of this pit and therefore where the wheel was will be directly above those bushes. So I'll take a photograph and hopefully I'll try and match the photograph now and then. Tree there, some brickwork left over from the colliery. Okay, this will be the site of West Wylam Colliery. I mean, really, this walk's just to test these devices. It's not really uh, a good walk, to be honest. But looking at the collieries and stuff helps make it a little bit more interesting. Yeah, this is the it was quite a large colliery actually, it's quite a large site. Yeah. Yeah, this mound as well was all part of the colliery site. Have a look, look over the top, give you an idea. The pit itself, the pit shaft, is back up where we were before. And we'll go to James Pit soon. It was a third pit, it was quite close to where James Pit is. So, we'll have a look any case. There'll be nothing there for the third pit if there was. I don't know if I can get that in there. Uh, I'm just getting used to this new selfie stick. There's a bit of brickwork left over from the colliery. I reckon underneath this would be a lot of this mound of debris. Alright, let's go and see if there's one more thing I want to have a look at on uh, this colliery site. And then we'll uh, we'll have a look see if we'll find James Pitt. It's a replica coal wagon just to mark the the site of West Wyland Colliery. Up on there, and it says to be honest, the site of a former colony good place for mountain biking. And at the moment it's just doing nothing, it's just derelict land. Really, it's a brownfield site. I'm going to show you a field, which is another technically brownfield site, but I doubt you'll be allowed to build any houses there. Let's cross this road. You 
used to be railway tracks coming along here, yeah, there's a little bit of behind the signpost. Getting to the main court, Newcastle Carlisle Railway. So that field there is the site of the coke burners. That was really a brownfield site. There's nothing to stop them building houses on it. And James Pitt should be roughly over there, there's the telegraph pole. I'm sure if you pick it up on the camera. We'll have a look. And if there was another pit, I'm not sure if there was or not, but it should if it was, it was around about where that hedge is over there. We'll go around the back of that hedge and have a look around, see if we can find James's pit really. And see if there's any evidence that there was another pit or not. And by pit I mean like the pit shaft. Behind me is roughly the area where James Pitt was. There's nothing remaining now. I was just talking to some people there before, if you remember it. And they were saying it was bulldozed in the 70s. And then on top of it was an old rubbish tip. There was nothing there. But what he did say was that there was two shafts further back here which were capped with concrete that he helped do. So I'm going to go back to where I was before to see where the shafts were. A little difficult to find in this place, and he said, there's this bit here behind me, I don't think that's in it. Besides where that is, is not really where there was supposed to be any pit shaft. It should be further down. So I'm going to have a look again. I think it might be overgrown actually. I think I might have passed it. I'll have a go. Difficult to find in it. It might be around that area there. It's over, overgrown. As I said, it's marked with uh, two lots of uh, concrete. Which is where they cap the, the shafts and help do it. So, it's around this area. I might have to come in the winter sometime and have a look just out of curiosity's sake. As I said, this walk's really just a test out gear. <laughs> Yeah, I've just had a bit more chat there. It's, uh, there's no way that I would have found anything on James Pitt. <laughs> uh, not only was it bulldozed, but uh, it was used, the site was used for dumping lime from the old ICI works. So there used to be two smaller hills here, which they took away, and they left the other big chalk hills. Uh, and then the site was used as a rubbish tip. So if there was any brickwork or stonework left, it must be really well buried. And uh, there's no way I'm going to find anything remaining of James Pitt. But it's around this area in any case. So next one to go and have a look at is uh, the old Hag Bank pits. Now what I'm really interested there is behind the old Hag farm there used to be two streets of houses. This is another brownfield site, you see. Instead of building on all the greenfield sites, why not just rebuild the houses that used to be there? You know? Makes a lot more sense. Where those bushes are, it's a bit windy, so I'm not sure if you'll hear me over the wind. But we'll see. Where those bushes are, was the site of another old pit. Uh, there's another pit which is more well known uh, at the other side which we'll go to shortly uh, but these pits didn't last very long at, uh, at Hag Farm uh, the earliest maps are not on the maps at all uh, they only show up on around about the 1860-ish maps uh, by 1890 they were already classified as old pits so they only lasted about 20 years or so yeah, there was about 20 something houses just behind those bushes over there. This gate here behind me leads to where the old houses used to be. 
it's well and truly padlocked there to stop people going in. So I'm going to have to do a little bit of trespassing there. I mean, after all, it used to be a road to someone's houses, so a complete tradition for right away. Right, this is where the houses used to be. Now just a field full of horses. You can see where the remains were underneath the soil there. But other than that, there's not really a lot left. Well, there's 20 odd houses in this field. Two rows of terraces. Servicing the pit, which we're going to go to now. I just thought I would have a look and see if there was anything left over the houses. Then I'll get away now because me and horses don't get on very well for some reason. <laughs> okay, the bank behind me there, that's the Hag Bank. Be a chimney on the top of there. I can't see it. I can't service in the pit. I walk right past the pit. <laughs> the pit's just down below. I mean, using the Hag Bank, I could uh, work out where the pit should be on the map. I don't know if you can see that, it's covered in ivy there. That's the remains of Hag Bank Pit. Just down there. There's a path a bit closer, so I'm going to walk around to get onto that path and have a look. Yeah, there's a bit closer. That's all that remains of Hagbank Pit. I have to step back a bit, I'm too close. Covered in ivy. Surrounded by hawthorn bushes and wild roses and nettles. I swear they plant these things around the old pits on purpose to stop people like me exploring <laughs> and hurt themselves probably. I mean, these are all plugged. Uh, it's, it's not as if you're going to fall down the pit. Not around here, in any case. It's not like the lead mines which are open. Right. Next one, put a colliery. I'm at the site of where put a colliery was. Uh, behind me is the railway, it's just like access. And in front of me, which I'll show you in a second, is uh, the remains of the colliery. This was the site of Eltringham Pit. There's nothing of it remaining now, like... Uh, it used to be a day for having workmen working around the areas of the pits. But uh, these workmen are working on a, a slippage by the railway line. So you can get here. It's just on the edge of this field. And the actual pit shaft itself is be 
roughly behind me amongst those trees. There's nothing there now. Um, the colliery went a bit behind me there to where the Hammerite building is now. The Hammerite building itself wasn't really uh, part of the, the colliery. The colliery was adjacent to it. And there was a brickworks here as well. Actually, I think I might have spotted a bit of structure. I'm going to have a look now. When you say that there's nothing left of it, you couldn't find the actual pit itself. <laughs> Behind me there, I'll, show, I'll switch the view around, is the concrete that's blocking the actual pit shaft. So I'll turn it around so you can see it properly. There you go. That there is what is left of Eltridgen Pit. And there's one more pit I'm going to do today. Uh, that's Edgewell Pit. Uh, I don't think there's much left of that, but we'll have a look. It's a bit noisy here now with the workmen. But uh, this is actually the first actual pit I've actually been able to pinpoint precisely. <laughs> I used the maps for ages, looking at them, trying to pinpoint the, where the pits were, but there was like nothing left where they were. And this one's really the first one where you can actually see the remains of the pit shaft. view there. Eh? Should get better as I go further up. It's a bit windy up here, so I'm not sure if you're going to hear me. This cemetery here, or just the corner of the cemetery any case, is the site of, Eld of what am I talking about? Edgewell uh, Pit. The pit shaft was on this side of the road. And across that side of the road there's another cemetery behind that house. That's where the colliery was itself. It's a little short lived colliery. That's not. Uh, it became a hospital first, and then after after being a hospital, it became a brickworks. After a bit, of these brickworks were actually making bricks, or whether they were just selling the bricks from the old collieries. Can see that every single colliery here ended up being a brickworks before it ended up vanishing. So Elgin German Colliery became a brickworks, West Wyland Colliery became a brickworks, Edgewell Colliery became a brickworks. <laughs> Same pattern. <laughs> Any case, a stunning view here, so I'll click do the view and then it's time to head home. Really, that's about all of the, the pits in Prado. There's two more. Wait, I'm saying there's two more. There's a few more actually, but uh, the, the south of Prado. Uh, one's Durham Riding Colliery, which I'll do on another walk again. I've already done it once. And there's uh, Headley Park Colliery, and there's lots of little pits up by the Glider Club, which don't really have a name, but are on uh, Duke Sag. That's where the old wagon way which I walked before, that was where it split and one road track went up to Duke's Hag and the other one went to West Mickley, eh, not West Mickley, High Mickley. So I took the, the route that went to High Mickley. Uh, next time I'll take the route that goes to Duke's Hag and we'll get all them other little pits done. Uh, I'll do Wylam another day. I know Wylam a lot better than I know Prado. Uh, and I know Croke Road quite well as well. Okay, so I'll leave you off the graveyard. <laughs>